guys we're all done and I just wanted to go over a few little details of this before we uh, move on to the next video uh, I don't know if you noticed in this I used a graphic marker to do most of the fill-in work I find the graphic markers fill in very quickly you can blend colors together get a lot of that you know underpainting laying down color very quickly very evenly smoothly uh, but afterwards I came back with the paint pen to do the outer outer uh, do a little bit of work on the pyramid right there a little bit of paint pen work over here as well too um, obviously for the shines and stuff so basically what I'm saying is you need both paint pens and graphic markers together to create a, a fully realized image <clears throat> I think so uh, you know there's so many ways to skin a cat obviously there's so many ways to do a black book uh, but in my experience I like to use both paint pens and the graphic markers together 
I hope the audio is good on this. I'm recording on my GoPro. Hello. Also, the nine piece came out pretty nice. You know, got tired of painting sevens, I guess. We're gonna do some nine pieces for a while. They're great letters, although I like the way seven tags better. It's kind of funny how that is. I like writing the word seven as a tag. I don't like piecing it. I like piecing this word, but I don't like writing the tags. So anyways, it was a lot of fun. I'm glad, I'm glad we got to do that today. And uh, we should move on to the next video. Oh, one more thing. Uh, some people wanted to see my setup because they wanted to start their own YouTube channels. And I think that is super sweet. Start with black book videos, speed painting. You too can get famous. Uh, anyways, so check this out. This is all I'm using for my light. It's one of these clamp lights from Home Depot. Yes, I, I do have a boom light as well too. You don't need that. You don't need that. Just get yourself some clamp lights. This is literally a light stand with a clamp light attached to it. That's that's all I'm using. The key is to get a bulb that is 5500K to 6500K Kelvin. Uh, it's the color temperature of the light. It creates a much more natural daylight balanced light. So that way your paper doesn't look all dingy and yellow like a 1970s Polaroid. You want those crispy whites, homie. Crispy. Keep it crispy. Uh, also, my light stand, I'm sorry, forgive me. My camera stand is a Manfrotto tripod that I use here. Now, this is a pretty expensive carbon fiber doohickey. You don't really need to spend this kind of money on one of these. <clears throat> if you do get a tripod, just make sure you get one with the right angle attachment so you can move your center post over like that. Now, you don't even have to use a tripod. You could actually get a uh, attachment for your table. It's like a little accordion kind of doohickey. I'm sure you've seen them on Amazon. Um, but you can attach it to your table and, and run a camera like that, but they will not hold anything more than a GoPro. So keep that in mind. If you want to put a real camera on it, then you need one of these. So hopefully that helped you get started. Oh, drafting table, 40 bucks on offer up. That's no, actually I think my wife paid $45, sorry, $45 for the drafting table and a, a used Herman Miller chair spring for the Herman Miller chair guys, your back will thank you. All right, guys, so you're well on your way to doing speed painting videos on YouTube, and I have faith in you. You can do this. You can do this. With just a few simple tools, you can be on your way. Now, of course, you're going to need the markers. Can't do it without the markers. And you know what? I know exactly the place to get the markers you need. It's Art Primo, homie. Artprimo.com. I think the number, correct me if I'm wrong, I think the number is... 206-365-4083. You can call us right now and put in an order, or you can leave me a, a special message on the voicemail. What the f***, Green Danger? I want everyone to get down, you know what I'm saying? The more of us painting, the better. The bigger impact we can make. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Peace.